Continuing with artboards, and you'll remember in the first artboard one, chapter 2.1, creating artboards, we've just created and named this artboard called Letterhead. Well, now we're going to create some custom sized art artboards, and for that, you select up the top there, that on the top menu bar, and you'll see artboards. And that puts the toolbar down the bottom. We want to insert an artboard or create an artboard. And you can simply do that if you watch the screen by now dragging. And we've got artboard one. That puts, you can see it there, artboard one, the name over there in the layer panel. We might want to create another one, artboard two in the layer panel. Now they're all transparent and you can see that, but that one's selected. Now that one's selected. It's back to letterhead is selected, artboard one. Let's give that a name, shall we? The three buttons. Um, so that we can tell them apart. Random size, random size one. Okay, now that one's, now let's give it a colour, shall we? Let's separate these out a little bit. Bright colours like that. Oh, that is wonderful. Now if we go down here to artboard two, you can see it's still no colour up here. No, we don't want that. Select Artboard 2. And we want to move it. Select Artboard 2. Layers panel. Artboard 2. Another. Another artboard. This is just to differentiate them from the artboards that we've already got. Letterhead, random size one, and artboard two. Well, let's give artboard two a yellow color. And that's fine. We now have in the layers panel, we have letterhead, which is no color. You'll see it's transparent. Random size one, the pink one. And an yet another artboard is a pink one. Well, let's go back to letterhead because it's not too late. We can still give that a color. And let's make that blue. Whoa, very bright. Now, what we can also do with artboards, they have presets. Because we went to there, we went to artboards. And you'll see while document and insert artboard is selected down there, we can go to presets. An iPad, iPhone, Apple Watch, Nexus 5, and so on. You can create your own presets. But let's do a an Apple Watch 42mm. What did I end up? Apple Watch 42. And you can't see it there yet. But you tap insert artboard down the bottom here. And we've got a little blank artboard there. But let's go here and deselect that. And we can now move our Apple Watch in there. Apple Watch is no color. Let's give it a color. Um, okay, nothing quite so fancy this time, just grey. Did you see how we did that? Select the top one up there. Go to Artboards. Go to Presets. Nexus 7. Insert Artboard. And there's the Nexus 7 appears over the side. Now remember, we don't try and move it with that thing still down the bottom there or you'll create another artboard. 
go back to the move tool and we can drag it over here onto the panel now you'll see over here it's no color it's transparent in other words and that gives us the artboards resizing artboards of course you can resize artboards well let's go and select that one there you'll see from from that tool random size one is selected now you can resize them by dragging the corners is it fx no is it that no layer panel that's the one we've got is it that no it's not that it's very tricky it's hidden the resizing width and height and there you go it was that one there which is the transform studio so there we go transform studio if you really want a specific size width 100 and height 100 it's the purple one that we're on which is random size one and that one there you'll now see that that's 100 by 100 you can check that by just holding a corner oh i've moved it <laughs> the tiniest little move there we go you see 98.8 and 100.9 it did move let's make that 100 again and that one there 100 again repositioning artboards of course you can move them around same as that select the one you want make sure the move tool is the thing that's selected because if you touch the screen now artboards behind artboards behind artboards just remember where you are in the layers option because you can move them around let's select letterhead and put that one Oh no, we don't want it inside there. It's gone and grouped itself inside. Put it back down the bottom. Select the yellow one. Come on, select. And move it down there. Underneath. And you can see the, the border is showing. But it's cut off. We then select that one because it's underneath. So you can reposition those anywhere you want. The Nexus. Down the bottom, hardly moved. Why is it showing blue over that when you move it? Because that's on top of that one that's the highlight one that's on top but it's not showing up because it's transparent what we want is white now it'll show up now if it's transparent it's hidden behind it there you go so you can make custom sized artboards you can set them by presets you can view your artboards and you can make that bigger by zooming in with your fingers. Move that down there and you've got that one you're working with. The others are still there but you've zoomed in on that one. You've resized the artboards and you've repositioned the artboards. And that's that little section. They've got some nice artboard examples, the Pro Print one there, and we'll work on that one later. For now, that's it.